Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multibus gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Now, today's farm is going to be on Primal Life, and if you guys remember the old Primal Life farm, which I'll put up at the top of the screen, uh, it's still really good. Uh, whereas, you know, this one, you don't actually get like the bog tendrils, uh, which are a pretty nice item to actually get and sell up on the auction house as well. But you do, you know, get more primal life, which is actually the main item you're looking for. Uh, so I'll still probably do the other one every now and then, especially now that I'm eight man farming, because it is a lot easier to do it with eight man. But with five man, it was kind of hard because you had to run like such a long route and everything. And I think at most I would end up with like 130 primals total. And only some of my potatoes would only end up with like eight primals. Uh, so it was really low for them. But this one, your potatoes and stuff, they get pretty much the same amount and they can get a lot of primals because there's only two spawn points to cover. So you can do this in a group as small as two. So if you're only starting out multi-boxing and you only have like the two man group, three man group, whatever, you can do this farm easily and get you a nice material to put up on the auction house or use it yourself to craft. Uh, so yeah. Uh, big thank you though to Arnoda and Kimmick uh, because Arnoda actually mentioned it to me a while back when he saw one of my streams and saw I was doing the other spot. Uh, then Kimmick actually showed the spawn points and everything uh, where you had to be to actually do this farm. So big thanks to both of them. So anyway guys though, stick around, check it out, and see how it's done. Alright guys, so here we are. We're in Zanger Marsh, but this time we are located here at the lagoon instead of over here where the other farm is and like i said you could go over uh click up at the top of the screen and go check that one out it's still a really good farm and you can get bog tendrils in primal life but this one will provide you with more primal life which is overall what you're looking for mostly and also you can do it in a smaller group because there's only two spawn points to cover <laughs> we are right here on this island and then we have potatoes right here on this island that's it but as you see i am actually running this with my eight man group but I do have them split up on different shards. So I have like a four man team uh, right here on this group. And I have two here and two on the other island. And then the same thing with the other group. And the reason why I do that is so that I can get the most amount of primals as possible within the time frame. Uh, so what I do is I actually just sit here and spam my macro and kill these mobs. And then I'll actually fly my main over to the other island and then actually fly one of my potatoes over to this island while i'm actually um looting on that island with my main so that way i'm actually getting a potato to actually get as much loot pretty much as my main is getting at the same time i didn't actually start doing that until like the 20 minute of uh, area because i was like you know at first i was just flying my main over there and then flying my main back kind of like i do it with other farms but then i was like well it takes just the same amount of time because it's the same spot why don't i just take a potato over there you know maybe somebody else would have figured that out faster than me but hey <laughs> it wasn't until the 20 minute mark that I actually thought hey this is what i should be doing uh so that's what i did so i would actually take you know like i said i'm spamming my macro killing these mobs and you see super fast respawns and you know my potato is going to be able to loot all these as well and i would loot all these and then I would, like i said i would fly over as soon as i can get flight form <laughs> i would fly over to this island right here see it's not that far away and i'll just drop off my main right here of course i got the boots on unfortunately i got that buff off and then i would actually take my potato eight which is right here and i would fly this one over to this island and i would just loot over here as well so that way like i said this potato at least is getting the same amount of loot as my main would get uh unfortunately i didn't start doing that until the 20 minute mark so it did take <laughs> a little while before i started getting that extra loot but uh it also makes it easier too for when you get to like that 25 minute mark or, or you know or right near the end where you decide to take all your potatoes around and loot as well to see if there's any epics or blues because that takes out one extra tune that you have to do that with uh plus it's not that you know far that you have to travel with all your tunes especially if you're doing eight now to see whether you got any epics or blues which if you don't know about that uh anything that's blue or better will actually stay on the mob for up to 30 minutes so usually we, especially with like an eight band team, you'll stop at like the 25 minute mark, take all your tunes around and see if you have anything of 
you know blue or rare quality even though you loot the mobs with your main uh or just one potato it should still keep anything that's blue or better uh on the mobs and i did find actually by the time i got to even my last potato and i flew them over to the other island there was still primal life so that's how fast it is that you're able to switch all off and on between potatoes and loot uh, so you might even be able to, you know, do that with more of your tunes, uh, even just during the farm if you like. It's up to you. But I feel like two is enough because, honestly, by the time I got my first potato back over to the island and looted everything, I was getting close to that minute anyway where things would start despawning. Um, but completely up to you. Either way, it's a really great farm. Like I said, you end up with a ton of primals because basically all your potatoes are be able to loot almost every single mob at least they're looting them all on whatever island they're on and you do have another potato that's actually able to loot just as much as your main uh so anyway guys let's go ahead though and i'll get everything cleared out in their bags and we'll go ahead and take a look at exactly how much uh as far as the primals and stuff i did get uh so you guys can see whether or not this is something that you would be interested in doing yourself see you there all right, guys, so now that we got all of our screens back to the large size and everything, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So first off, on our main, we actually got 98 Primal Lives, okay? Uh, well, 98.8. .8. And then we've got uh, actually some modes of water as well. So that gives us two Primals, and uh, four, so 2.4 Primals as far as water goes. And the reason why that is, there is some eels that are actually around uh, this area. And when you're actually killing these mobs since your macro is just like any other macro it's just you know slash target the first three letters of the mob's name and then uh slash cast your spell it's actually as soon as i can find it here it's this one right here uh it's slash target lag because the mob's name is like lagoon or whatever uh lagoon walkers uh it's actually like lagoon ills <laughs> so it also targets them as well and kills them which also provides you uh the mode of water uh so that's pretty awesome too we even got essence of water in here because of them uh which like a lot of the water mobs and stuff just like when we're doing the actual primal water farm we actually get the essence of water as well uh then you still get the unidentified plant parts you just don't get the bog tendrils though uh we also got some life essence uh and we got some lock boxes and some low value gear on our main we didn't actually get anything of any high value but it's still a decent amount of primal life 98.8 just on our main uh so like i said though we will be able to actually get a lot more primals on our potatoes as well uh so as we go to our first potato we actually got 86 <laughs> on our first so see it's not even that far off from our main and uh this is actually the one though that was actually uh so this one actually should have been near our main anyway because this is the one that we start switching uh but we didn't start switching until like i said around the 20 minute mark uh so it is a little bit lower uh because this is potato eight this is the one that we went back and forth with uh so yeah we've got 86 primals and three moats so 86.3 and then four moats of water uh unidentified plant parts and then we did actually get an azerothian uh longbow which actually you can't see the value right now because we're being attacked <laughs> kill that real quick and it's showing 11,500 gold on my realm 12,000 uh gold region and it has a 0.02 cell rate actually uh so <laughs> i'm not sure why uh it actually has a value like that when it just looks pretty basic but i guess that's something <laughs> people will look after or, or look for and uh then we go to actually one of our potatoes that didn't switch and we actually got 50 primal lives now like i said though with the other farm you would actually have some potatoes that were down as low as eight primal lives by the end of your farm <laughs> so that's a big difference and a lot of them should be around that range and we even still like i said we even got more uh primal water so uh really good there some low value transmog on, on that one as well uh we go to our next one and again 56 <laughs> so they're all going to be around that 50 range as far as the primals go uh so that's really looking good and we go to the next one bam another 56 primal life so <laughs> it's definitely a lot more total uh that you're going to be getting with all these go to the next one this one's even got 60 and then some most of water and we even got the blood scale lakes which are awesome i know it's only showing like almost 2000 gold on my realm 
uh but 8,000 gold regen and look at that 0 0.09 cell rate that's what's so awesome about these lakes uh, then we go to the next one again 55.9 uh, primals and even some moats of water uh, and then we did get the Brutal Scar Limb, uh, which is a staff. This is 22,000 my realm, 19,000 region. I really don't know why this one's so high because it looks pretty basic. Uh, but yeah, we got that. And then on our very last one, we got 55.3 and one Primal Water and nothing really as far as gear. So not really a farm to go after for gear, but for the Primal Life, I mean, you definitely get a lot more because like I said, there will be some at the other farm where you're only looking at like prime uh, you know eight primal lives uh you know maybe 11 maybe even 20 on like the max as far as a potato goes but with this one you have across the board like 50 primal lives on all your potatoes at least and then you know up to almost 100 on your main and one potato that you decide to switch back and forth with uh so definitely going to give you a lot more uh even just in a two-man group if you're just switching and swapping both your tunes i mean you still end up with more primal life than you did with your you know whole group pretty well yeah pretty much your whole group on your on the other primal life farm because i think in total i would end up with a five-man group i'd only end up with like 130 135 uh primal life's max uh at the old farm uh so just with the fact that they're both getting almost 100 uh, you would actually end up with a lot more primals just in a two-man group uh, So yeah, definitely come check this one out It's a really good farm if you're looking for primal life and or just to put them up on the auction house You can definitely get a lot more primals uh, And like I said, if you only have a two-man group here you go This is another farm that you can do with that uh, But till you can get up to you know a five-man group and then maybe even an eight-man group uh, eight man group has definitely made farming a lot of these spots a lot easier of course because you can cover more spots uh, but just as far as you know making it lazier for you uh, all right guys so to conclude the video on the primal life farm uh, one thing I did actually end up going back and uh, adding up all the primal lives that I got and it was actually 519.4 primal lives <laughs> so definitely a lot more primals uh even though i waited till the 20 minute mark before i start swapping those tunes uh really really good <laughs> with over 500 primals uh and like i said even with a two-man group you should be able to get like close to 200 as you know like i said i got like you know 90 some on my main and you should be able to get the same amount on the potato you switch with uh i just it took me until you know uh 20 minute mark before i you know thought this is what i should be doing <laughs> maybe one of you guys will have thought of it sooner but it took me till the 20 minute mark um but anyway guys uh yeah hope you got, decided to come out here and check it out let me know how many primals you get uh and everything and how easy it is for you as well and how much you like it uh but anyway guys that's about all i have uh if you like this video go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below uh so that way you don't miss another one of these amazing multi-boss gold guides i have coming out also don't forget uh we have the sub challenge going on until the end of this month and we are getting you know pretty close yeah <laughs> we you know last time i checked we were at 890 some uh so we only have to get up to a thousand and i'll actually give out five prizes now you do have to be on na to get those but two of those are shadowlands and uh the last three are tokens and uh one of those will actually include the boost as far as the shadowlands goes uh so yeah definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already so that you can be entered into that challenge because it is also a sub only challenge uh so you do have to be sub to the channel in order to win uh and everything and if we make it i will give away the details as far as how to get entered into the running for that uh but anyway guys also don't forget about the links for facebook and twitter where you can get notified when i do come out with a video uh or i'm going live on twitch which there's also a link down below for twitch if you're interested in following me on there uh so you can join us on stream uh where i'll also give away a token every single sunday and i have been every now and then throwing in some extra tokens here and there uh, and there is also a link for discord where you can also get notified and there's also a great group of people you can join and you know get help with like your multi box setup and doing farms and things like that uh, but other than that guys that's about all i have this is baby powder peace i'm out